Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. It's Wit here again with another video. So today I'm going to be reviewing and demoing the new Juvia's Nubian 3 Coral Palette, or I don't know how it's read, Nubian 3 Coral. Yeah, or Nubian Coral 3, whatever, however you read it. I'm gonna be doing this funnily enough, or fun, funnily? if that's a word funny enough um my eyes look nothing coral you guys know from my channel i really love juvia's place i love their eyeshadows and i am a collector of this line and i own every single one of their palettes um and when i saw this i was immediately like one i'm just i'm gonna buy it just because i collect them but i was really drawn to do to this gray matte here hence the gray eye look that i did so um I hope you guys enjoy this video. If you have not yet checked out my other Juvia's Place videos, I'll have them linked down below. A lot of you guys I gained as new subscribers from my Juvia's Place um, collection palette or palette collection. So yeah, let's go ahead and get started. All right, guys, let's go ahead and get started. So I'm gonna be going into this shade right here first. Okay, you guys, so that color, um, it looks like my base, so that didn't show up. But taking this pencil brush, I'm going to go into this gray shade right here, and I'm just going to put this, like I'm going to stamp it on, because I want to do a halo eye today, because I've been doing like one too many cut creases. I hope this look comes out looking well, because I mean... I actually have somewhere to go today, so. <laughs> Let's hope and pray, y'all. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take this blending brush. Um, it's a little bit smaller than the very first one that I went into, that I, that I used. And I'm just gonna go ahead and blend out the edges. Okay, so now I'm just going to go ahead and build that color back up. So it's a lot of just adding and packing on, add, pack on, you blend out, you add more, you pack on, you blend out, until you get the desired color that you like with the desired blend blendedness. Okay. This gray is so pretty, you guys. I feel like an ice princess. Oh, Lord. Oh, loud. All right, you guys, I was on FaceTime with someone, and I was just like... I just really low-key get off the phone so I can really just, you know, talk to you guys. Well, talk to myself and then essentially as you guys are watching this, it seems like we're talking even though like, you know, we're not talking right now, talking. But you get what I'm saying. Do I get what I'm saying? Mm. I think I'm gonna go back with this brush and I'm gonna just stamp this color on again. I'm really not using too many colors from this palette. Um, I just, when I saw this palette, I was immediately drawn to this gray. Like, I've been wanting a gray matte like this in my collection for a while, which is like, I have a lot of eyeshadows, but I realized that I really don't have any grays. Um, so when I saw this, like, that's what I wanted. So, I'm not used, I'm not doing any neutral eye looks, but, I mean, I mean, if y'all want me to do more looks with this palette, that ain't nothing. That ain't a problem, okay? All you gotta do it's just leave a comment down below letting me know and I got you I got you boo-boo all right so I think that's gonna work now we're gonna go ahead and like define where the halo the center is gonna be um, it's essentially kind of me cutting my crease but not really I'm just cutting the middle of my eye so I'm gonna be using my P Louise base in rumor 2 and I'm just gonna go ahead and define that Sometimes when I'm doing my makeup, I really just have to like take a breath and breathe because it be looking like it's not gonna come out the way I want because right now, this ain't looking like what I envisioned it to look like, but I just have to trust the process. Trust the process. So let's go ahead and do the other eye. All right, so now I'm just gonna go 
into that gray and I'm just gonna go ahead and just put a little bit of this like right here to kind of like blend it better oh y'all I'm so I'm so nervous about this look all right so for the lid shade I'm gonna go into this shade right here that pretty silver silver gray color is there a difference between silver and gray I guess gray is the ashy version of silver right yeah 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 it is all right so I'm gonna take that and oh I need a setting spray spray my brush I'm gonna use the Lancome fix it forget it spray to spray my brush I don't know y'all this color not picking up the way I want it to pick up all right so I'm gonna go ahead and just like start fixing this up and really merging these two colors this um, gray shade um, honestly like the the one I put on my lid it's a little disappointing the matte gray was on point but let me start blending these two together cuz right now right about now your girl is worried y'all I really want some Chipotle I have not eaten since 709 yesterday it is now currently 11.47, so it's time for me to actually break my 16-hour fast, I think. I think this is the time I'm supposed to be breaking. I track my fast um, with the Zero app. So I fast for 16 hours. I'm supposed to only eat for eight, but like honestly, I don't really track that. I just, like, when I'm done eating, I just try to fast. So like, if I don't really eat that, if I don't use that entire eight-hour period, or if I go over, I don't care. But as long as I'm going 16 hours fasting, that is what I want to do. Um, so... I'm trying to hurry up and do this so that I can go to Chipotle and get some errands done. Now, I think I really, really kind of want to add in some black. I think I really do, and I'm not going to deprive myself, so I'm going to add in some black. I'm going to be using the Urban Decay um, Shadow in Blackout. With this same brush that I was using to put this gray on, I'm just going to add a little bit of black, like like it's closer like I just want to add a little bit of just a little bit is that that little that 50 cents on a little bit just a little bit just a little bit okay for lashes today I'm going to be using these it's um they're I don't know where they're from a friend of mine gave me a whole bunch of like these lashes and um, I love them just look at this lash. Let me let me get my tools here so y'all can see. It's so pretty. Kind of remind me of the Miami lash by um, Lily Lashes. Aren't these pretty? These are so cute. So I'm gonna be using these today on my eyes, and I'm also gonna tight line using, or not tight line. I'm gonna line my my lid using the ABH Jet Liner, and then I'm gonna show you guys the glitter that I wanna put on because I really want this like to pop. I think today is a Dior kind of foundation today. Like, do y'all think about the day, like, what am I going to do? Do I want to put on my favorite foundation or do I just want to use, like, mm, something else? Like, Dior Forever is, like, my number one bay right now. So I think I might just wear that today because I'm in a good mood. I'm in a really good mood because I declare that I'm going to have a good day. Sometimes you just got to declare the type of day you want. Like, the enemy really will try it. Like, I've like when I say y'all, I'm really just, ooh, child. God is working on me. He, when I say he really is, he really is. And the enemy will sit up here and just, you know, try to get to you. Like, I've had some down days and some really up days, and I just, I like when I'm happy. So I have to really just like set the course in the morning. Like, you know what, today's gonna be a good day. Like I'm alive, you know, I'm breathing. I'm in my sane mind. Like, you know, like I'm not somewhere in a hospital, I'm not hooked up to something. So I just gotta give praise and just be grateful. So I really do have to declare it and make sure I have a good day because when life is not going the way you would like for it to go, it's easy to fall into that you know, depressed state, self-pity, and I, I just don't like feeling like that. I really don't, so I really do have to just 
set my day and be like, I'm gonna have a good day and today's gonna be a day of positivity. And that's exactly what's gonna be. Can you pay my bills? Can you pay my telephone bills? Can you pay my automobiles? Then maybe we can chill. I don't think you mm, So you and me, I shrew. Well, it's not through. Why shrew? Why shrew? Ooh, wee. Mama, mama. Yes, so, yes, so, yes. Okay, guys, so this is it with the lashes on. So now I really want to put some glitter on, and I'm kind of torn between the two, but I think I know which one I want to do. But first, I have this Violet Foss glitter right here. It's called um, Cosmic. And yeah, I don't think it's going to go because it's kind of like a brownie type of glitter. Or I can do Diamond Dust by Stila, which I think is a little bit more appropriate. Yeah, I think Diamond Dust is where we're gonna go, but that cosmic color is so pretty. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put this on my lid. And you don't really have to do the glitter, but I feel like being extra. All right, you guys, so this look actually came out fairly well. Um, usually with anything like silver, white, just anything that's really bright pastel, it's very hard for it to show up on camera. So you guys are not getting the full effect, but this is actually really pretty in person. It actually came out pretty well because I was nervous for a little minute. I was just like, mm, I don't know, Whitney, I don't know. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the rest of my makeup and I'll be back to give you guys my complete thoughts on this. So see you guys shortly. I gotta do a little, a little shrug off. Okay. <laughs> okay, let me just say this, this look, this look actually came out well. The lips, I'm not too sure if I'm loving the lips. I don't know, it's something, something is contrasting like overall the whole picture. But it's just on camera, because like in person, I like the way I look. So I don't know. But either way it goes, I really, really like the way this eye look came out. I love Juvia's Place eyeshadows. I love especially their mattes. Their shimmers are hit and misses at times, um, for the most part. Yeah, sometimes their shimmers are really great, and sometimes their shimmers are like... And today, I had that issue with this shade. It was a little, it was a little off. But either way it goes, the look came together. It looks gorgeous. This palette, um, I definitely want to use it again. Ooh, my, na Ooh, my nails kind of go with it. Um, Juvia's Place, by the way, is coming out with foundations and concealers. And I do plan on picking those up. I do want to review them and do like a wear test on my channel. So be on the lookout for that. But overall, this eye look is really pretty. It's just a really pretty gray um, halo eye. And let me get closer for y'all. So I hope you guys um, enjoyed this tutorial. It was pretty, pretty simple, um, pretty chill. But yeah, until next time, I'll talk to you beauties later. Bye. Oh, 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 hold, 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 hold up. And if you're not yet following me on Instagram and Snapchat, make sure you go ahead and do that. And until next time, I'll talk to you beauties later. Bye.